my recent designs, a V8 engine proposal called the Cobra Venom. It was created as an homage to the classic AC Shelby Cobra sports car of the 1960s. My intention was to take cues from the original design, the curves, the muscular forms, and translate them into a modern package for today's market. I applied the same thinking when tackling my design for the new Bus for London challenge. To me, the original London Routemaster is one of the key icons of London. It is as important a tourist image of London as Big Ben, Black Cabs and Buckingham Palace. It distinguishes itself from other buses with its unique layout, an open platform at the rear and an asymmetrical front end with the driver's cab pushed over to one side, exposing the bonnet. The face of the Routemaster has a special charm to it, something which I believe has helped it become a warmly regarded icon of London. I endeavoured to try and capture some of this very unique character in my reimagining and, like with the Venom concept, design my version not as a copy, but as a spiritual successor. Because of the iconic nature of the Routemaster, I wish to retain the general package layout of the original. This included keeping a spiral staircase at the rear corner, leading down to the open platform, plus mounting the engine at the front near side, resulting in its recognisable asymmetrical nose. This has the added benefit of allowing for a clear, unobstructed field of view for the driver, both forward and sideways. When it came to tackle the styling, whilst wanting to look towards the future, I also felt it necessary to hark back to some of the features that I feel are key to the Routemaster's success. I focused on the curvaceous lines of the original, particularly the details of the front end and the gently curving taper of the rear window. The subtle yet effective curve at the underside of the nose provides the Routemaster with a happy face. I aim to retain some of this charm. Details such as the prominent grille and round headlights are timeless features that I also wanted to keep and integrate into a modern package. To keep the design from being a simple reworking of the original design, I felt it necessary to base the overall styling of the London Navigator around a contemporary package and introduce stylistic nods to the original where appropriate. My design includes integrated front and rear display panels. I designed these to flow with the overall lines of the bus's styling to almost create the illusion that they are an extension themselves of the glazing. This allows for a strong graphical shape front and back. Internally, apart from meeting the competition requirements for seating capacity and wheelchair access, I added features such as illuminated floor markers like those in a cinema, plus multi-directional ceiling lighting and illuminated bell pushers. I also wanted to provide an alternative seating handrail solution and introduced a concept that allows for low reach access for minors so that children can also hold onto handrails which were previously well out of reach. From a safety point of view, the rear platform features a simple security device to help prevent passengers from accidentally departing the bus earlier than expected, similar to the kind of locking barrier you find on fairground rides. An automatic wheelchair ramp has also been included for the forward entrance, operated by the driver from within the cab. A designated wheelchair bay is located immediately within the entrance, which can alternatively accommodate children's pushchairs or two passengers with foldable seats. As per the requirements of the brief, the London Navigator incorporates the latest hybrid technology and advanced materials and manufacturing processes. This includes a lightweight monocoque aluminium space frame chassis with bonded and riveted aluminium sheet panelling. It has been designed to accommodate a variety of power units and fuel sources. The proposed illustrated hybrid vehicle utilises a 4.8 litre engine running off biodiesel, powering the two rear axle in-wheel electric hub motors. Energy is regenerated through braking and suspension and is stored in lithium-ion batteries located alongside the rear wheels and under the rear stairwell. My overall goal was to achieve a balance between functionality and aesthetics. I was very much aware that the original Routemaster was more than just a simple red bus. It was a part of London's image to a world audience. Whatever the solution, it would need to fill those shoes in terms of being a unique and fitting replacement. A quintessentially British alternative. <laughs>